channel today i am going to be starting another reading vlog i'm really having a good time filming these reading vlogs this summer so i decided to do another one so here we go i guess i'm theoretically in the middle of like five books but some of them i'm not going to be reading this week but i i will tell you about them the two books that i'm in the middle of but i'm kind of putting on hold for the time being are the seeing stone which is the second book in spiderwood chronicles and then i'm also um, putting the cool prints on hold for now. I think I'm like halfway through it, but there's just some other books that I would like to finish first. It's just a reread, so it's like no big deal if I don't finish it in a timely manner. That leaves three books that I'm currently in the middle of. The first one I will talk about is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. Who's surprised I'm reading another Cassandra Clare book? Literally nobody at this point. I think I'm on page 200, which means I've read about three of the stories. There's one story in here that I'm not reading yet because I'm getting something later that's exciting that warrants me not reading it out of this copy you'll see what i mean later that probably sounds confusing but i'm so excited for it and it's supposed to get here today so we have another unboxing will i ever stop buying things off of ebay no <laughs> i'm like kind of enjoying these the first one was really good i had a good time reading that one but the next few that I read didn't really interest me that much but I do find it funny that um a lot of the narrators for this are like you know decently famous people probably like b-list celebrities maybe but the first one was read by a character from Grey's Anatomy and the whole time I was like I know this voice who is this it was Jackson Avery a fine man I do say so. I just thought that was really funny. And then the last one that I read is read by, ooh, I don't know the actor's name, but he plays Tyler on The Vampire Diaries and he's got a really nice voice for narration actually. Moving on, the next book that I'm in the middle of is Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler. This is a fun, quick contemporary set in like this girl's senior year of high school, I think. I've already forgot your name. I think her name's Larissa, maybe. Like, she had, like, a summer fling with this one girl, and then she goes back to school, and then there's super hot Chad, whatever the hell his name is, who is finally paying attention to her, and we're gonna see what happens, because then the girl from Summer shows up at her school, and she won't talk to her. Oh my god, can you believe it? I can't either. This just sounded really fun and, like, a quick read. It's literally only, like, 250 pages. It's so short. So I'm hoping I can finish this this week as well. I think I'm, like, 30 pages into it, maybe. I'm entertained so far. And then the last book that I'm currently reading this week is The Importance of Being Earnest and Other Plays by Oscar Wilde. Upon further evaluation, I decided I did really like <laughs> the picture of Dorian Gray. At first I was skeptical, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, wow, this, this is beautiful. So I decided to read some plays and plays are super quick to read. This has three plays in it, and currently I am on the first one. I think I'm on the third act of the first one now, and that is Lady Windermere's Fan. It's just a lot of um, rich people from like the 1800s commenting about society, and it's really funny so far. I'm having a good time. I should be able to finish this this week as well, because these, you know, it's like not super short, but it's a play, so you know. So yes, these are the books that I'm reading this week. Um. We're just gonna get into it. Yeah. So it's later, the mail has come. I'm so excited to open this, so bringing out my knife. Let's get into it. Oh, it looks, oh my God, it's so small. Oh my God, this is so cute. So I was watching, I think it was um, Emma from Emma Books, one of her book hauls recently, and she showed this tiny little book that was one of the books 
from the Bane Chronicles, but they had like released it separately. So I was looking around for that, but then I found something even better because I think they might have released two of the stories from the Bane Chronicles in these tiny editions. And I just had to have this one because it features literally one of my favorite characters from the Shadowhunter Chronicles as a whole. So you know I had to get it and it is adorable. Oh my God. So this is the Midnight Air and it's so small, I'm absolutely crying. I found this on eBay for like $5 and I was like, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. I absolutely have to get it. And it's just so cute and square. And I'm, oh my God, like, look at this foiling. Oh my goodness. Uh, and it has this cute little flower. I don't know what kind of flower this is. And just the fact that this tiny ass book has its own dust jacket, I'm absolutely losing my mind. It is so cute. Oh my God. But this follows, I didn't even say who the character was that I really liked. This follows James Harrendale. I don't know what the story is. I haven't read this story. I've actually passed this story in the Bane Chronicles, but I knew that this was coming. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna buy this and do absolutely nothing with it. So I'm gonna read it out of here. And we have a quote on the back um, of James being dramatic as always. It says, my father was cursed, James said from the darkness, whereas I, I'm damned. And if that isn't James Harrendale, I don't know what it is. It's so cute. I'm so, I'm sorry. I, like, I've been so excited for this all week and I'm still excited because, oh my God, this is just, okay. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. As for reading updates, there's not much to update on. So earlier, my mom had a doctor's appointment, so I went along with her and like we got lunch afterwards. But um, while I was sitting in the car waiting for her, I finished the first play and I was Lady Windermere's fan. And I was decently entertained the whole time. Like Oscar Wilde's wit is really just something else, let me tell you. This story as a whole is just so funny because it's just a lot of commentary about society in like the late 19th century. All these women clearly like despise their husbands and all of these husbands clearly think their wives are like so boring. So they each wish that like the other would like go do something with their life, like get a mistress or like just have an affair. I have to find some, there's some really funny quotes here. Ah, here we go. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is one from Lady Windermere herself. And it says, London is full of women who trust their husbands. One can always recognize them. They look so thoroughly unhappy and I lost it because like, that's just so funny. Now I'm moving on to an ideal husband. I'm excited to read that. I don't know when I'm gonna read this. I might start some of it today. And there's just so many things that I'm in the middle of reading. I don't know what to go to next. But actually I do know what I'm gonna go to next and it's this one. So we're gonna read this. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different here like a little bullet journal segment so i hope you're excited if you're not i'm so sorry but i'm gonna start out by listening to a little bit more of the bane chronicles while i do this just to get in a little bit more reading for the day and it kind of pertains to the spread because we're doing a spread for the last hours um i don't know if i've made this 
abundantly clear on my channel or not, but I'm kind of obsessed with that series. I love it with all my heart. So, you know, I had to do a spread for it in my bullet journal. So, yes, first of all, my mom has this like machine thing that cuts out letters because she's really into scrapbooking, so I can use her supplies all the time. So I cut out the, the title, The Last Hours, out of this really pretty gold paper and I love it so much and I think it looks so good with the rest of the spread because there's like some gold in this picture as well. And this is a picture of Cordelia and I believe this is done by Cassandra Jean. This is like a series of like 10 postcard type things that she did for like the release of Chain of Gold maybe? I don't know. But this picture is so gorgeous. I had to include it in the spread. Like, it's just so cool and she's holding Cortana. Oh, I could talk about it all day, but here I'm just putting some like really pretty washi tape on the edge of the picture. And now you can see me defacing a book. I'm so sorry if this upsets you. Um, this book is serving a higher purpose in life than to be read. God, that sounds awful, but like, it's fine. So I'm kind of going for a little layered look in the corner, clearly being very indecisive about what to put where. I also have these beautiful envelopes that I decided to put down instead. And I'm gonna do like a layered thing. I think my mom got these off of like Etsy or something. They're not actually vintage. So like, don't worry about me cutting up like nice envelopes. They're just printed like that. But I thought it really fit the vibe of the last hours, maybe. I don't know, I just thought they were really pretty. So I'm just putting that in the corner and then I'm gonna layer another like book page on top of it just for a nice layered look, you know, something, something casual. And this is where my camera decided to stop recording because it ran out of battery. So that's unfortunate, but um, here's the finished spread. So it's a little bit later in the day. So I'm selling some more like books and stuff. So I packaged something up to take to the post office. And then in this last clip, I decided to do a bullet journal read for the last hours because obviously i love that series so it needed to have its own spread here's what we have i hope you enjoyed like the little bullet journal setup thing i don't know i thought it'd be fun just to include that in here so i hope you liked it um if you want me to do like more bullet journal type stuff let me know down below like if that would be something that's interesting because i do it a lot um as for reading updates last night i finished the midnight air it was so good five out of five stars like there was honestly no question in my mind whether or not this would be a five star read it was just good background to the last hours i really wish i would have read like the short stories that concern the characters from the last hours before i read chain of gold and chain of iron but it's fine so yes and no i still cannot get over how cute this little book is okay I'm gonna stop talking about it though. And then while I was doing my spread, I was listening to the, some more of the Bang Chronicles. So I just started the fall of Hotel du Mort, which is like page 300, I think. And the last story I read was about Rafael Santiago and he is honestly one of my favorite characters from the Mortal Instruments. Like he's so funny, I love him so much. So it was fun to hear about like his backstory with Magnus and stuff. So that one was really good as well. With short story collections, it's always a hit or miss. A lot of more of these have been misses for me, but the last couple have been interesting. The one that I'm reading right now, vampires are feeding off people who are like, have drugs in their system so they can then get a high, which is interesting. Honestly, like never really even thought about it. Don't really have plans for the rest of the night. I never do. <laughs> so I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> everybody it is wednesday morning and today we're doing something exciting so there's this really beautiful library you'll see it when i show it to you later in downtown kansas city that i'm so excited to just scope out today because the facade is like you're gonna love it just trust me on this and then i'm also going to go to a used bookstore downtown and that's gonna be fun too because i've never been to this place either an exciting day plan full of book related things so we're just gonna get into it. I don't have any reading updates really because I didn't read anything else last night. So, whoopsie.
We have one of my favorites, Fahrenheit 451. Okay, so this is like outside of my library downtown. This is like the parking structure, but it's literally so cool. I can't believe I've never seen this before. My brain is like on overload right now. There's just so many books. Oh my god, look at the chair. <gasps> it's a shoe. Oh my god. <laughs> right now don't talk about it we're gonna start heartstopper volume four i got this a little bit ago and i'm so excited oh i did not include this in my last haul i know right um So I have not spoken to you guys a lot today, but I've had a really good day. The library was so cool. Just the outside of it and the, the inside of it. And that bookstore that I went to was like so weird and eclectic, but I loved it. And then I also came back and I read Heartstopper, which was another five out of five. Like no doubts in my mind that this would have been a five out of five stars, that is. So um, yeah, it's just been a really great day. As for this book, I always love the Heartstopper novels. Alice Oseman just, oh my god, she writes, she illustrates the whole thing herself, and she's only 26. I'm like, oh my god, I'm amazed. Absolutely amazed. The relationship is so cute, and she's so inclusive in all of her novels, and the way she talks about mental health is just so well done, and every time I read these stories, I want to cry. I want to be happy. I want to, you know, just all of the emotions out of just like a graphic novel. And like, if you can convey something like that through so few words and all of these pictures, I'm just absolutely in awe. If you haven't read any of the Heartstopper graphic novels, I implore you to do so. They're so just amazing. Really good afternoon. So as for the rest of the night, I still have like, these three books that I need to read. Uh, that doesn't sound fun. Maybe I won't. I probably won't. Actually, I might read a little bit more of An Ideal Husband out of this group of plays. So I think I'm almost finished with act one. So um, I think I have like four pages left until I get to the second act. So maybe I can read this tonight. Have something, you know, moving. Those are the reading updates. I might be ending the vlog tonight or tomorrow. I don't know because right now it's at like 20 minutes and I don't like my vlogs to be too long. I don't know. Um, we'll find out, I guess. Welcome back to a segment which I like to call 
watch Katie rub stuff on her face. I'm gonna end the vlog tonight, I've decided, just because, you know, I don't really want this vlog to be like too long. I think 20 minutes is like a perfect length for a reading vlog. It really only spanned three days, but that's fine. Some things don't always go according to plan. Um, also sorry if the lighting is a little rough right now. My mother has absconded with my lamp for a couple of days. It's a little sad if I don't have the overhead light on, but it's also sad because the overhead light is on. You know what I mean? As for books that I have completed this week, it's not a lot, literally just two. So we have The Midnight Air by Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan. I will not talk about how cute that book is, but I will talk about the content because it was fascinating. I love any story that features the Herondales, namely just Will and James Herondale. Like Jace is okay, he's just not my fave. I guess it kind of gives background, but it kind of doesn't because it leaves you with a lot of questions. Honestly, there's, you know, things on there. I'm like, do I even know what, what happened here? I've read like, you know, the actual books that correspond to these characters and I'm still confused a little bit, but also can we talk about it? Um, for a second, Cassandra Clare, I've obviously signed up for her newsletter. You. You are, you know. And she announced earlier this week, I forgot to talk about it, that Chain of Thorns is being pushed back to November of next year. And it's like, what the fuck do I do for a year and a half? I don't know. We're just gonna sit here and suffer. The lack of content, like I totally understand what happened, but I'm still upset about it. That's enough of that. And then I also finished Heartstopper Volume 4, which I talked about like literally a minute ago in this vlog. So won't go into it. Love the Heartstopper graphic novels. Read them, for the love of God, just read them. They're so good. And then I've also made a little bit of progress in the Bane Chronicles. I don't know about the Bane Chronicles as a whole, to be honest. I really like the first one where it talked about why Magnus got kicked out of Peru, or he's like, why he's banned from Peru. And then the Midnight Air, which was obviously a part of the Bane Chronicles originally, but I just read it out of the, the teeny book. And the one about Raphael was really interesting, but that's probably just because I really like Raphael. Probably like a like a solid 3, 3.5 maybe. I read a couple plays from Oscar Wilde. Lady Windermere's fan was fun and it was a good time. And then this one that I'm reading now, which is The Ideal Husband, is a little less interesting. I've only just finished the first act though, so we'll see where it goes from here, it could get better. And I did not read a single page of Cool for the Summer. I have a loan for you in the next couple of weeks, so it'll be fine. So yes, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, let me know down below. I know there's a couple more of you recently, so I wanted to welcome you to my channel. And yeah, let me know down below. I don't know. You just say hey. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, bye.